How are you doing, everybody? This is Relly P from Die the Pain. And we got a good one. Now, when you go by the Minnesota Timberwolves, I'm a Pacers fan, but I think uh, this cat jersey's got a lot of sentimental meaning to me. But going forward, the Timberwolves always seem to be no short of controversy. Doesn't matter if it's the coaching in recent times or the guys they get, it just seems to go like peanut butter and jam in a sandwich. So let's go over this one here. And listen, I'm not going to say that teams, organizations never cheat. And there is an investigation going on with a couple of teams at the moment because of signing trades. That stuff happens, and I'm not saying that everyone's perfect or that everybody cheats. But guess what? If you're going to cheat for somebody... Shouldn't he be good? You know what I mean? Somebody worth it. Not only that, but do a better job at hiding it. It kind of goes like this with the Joe Smith illegal contract for the Timberwolves. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the credentials uh, too much. I'm not going to bore you with that. But it kind of goes like this. When you deny, this is going to sound like Dennis Schroeder, okay? When you deny an $80 million extension, what are you signing for within our team? 5, 10, 15? How about 1.75? And everyone's like, what? This is after the 1999 lockout. He's a free agent. He signs a one year, $1.75 million, and denies an $80 million extension from the Warriors. Now, this isn't the Warriors of the Steph Curry era that made it one of the biggest sports franchises ever now. This was 99. And sure enough, what this was about is sign three one-year deals, have the bird rights, and allow them to go over the salary cap to re-sign him for $86 million. Except, well, they got caught. Mind you, right, you're signing three cheap one-year deals in a row. A little suspicious. And then agents found out there's documents, all this being released. Then they're like, hey, put the glass on, hey. And they got caught and they got hosed. And this is why a lot of people don't respect the Wolves franchise. So here's what happened when the hammer dropped down. Fine $3.5 million. They forfeited their first round picks for five years. They eventually restored to 2003, but that's still four first round picks given up. The Smiths newly contract voided. Previous two were as well. So essentially, the bird rights with the Timberwolves are gone. The owner, Glenn Taylor, was suspended. The VP of Basketball Operations, Kevin McCall, had to take a leave of absence. This was absolutely just bad. And again, as I said before, if you're going to cheat, if you're going to try and break the system, if you're going to do all these things you're not supposed to do, so in four seasons total, how many points does he got average? Oh, he's uh, more of an assistant type of guy, uh, a role player. Okay, you got to cheat yourself for a role player? You go through all of this work, all of this stuff going on, and let's just look at some of the drafts that go on. If we just go towards, let's just say, hmm, I just wanted to look at a couple of things, really. Now, they did get the 26 overall pick in 2003, but imagine if they pulled a tank job. How many guys were picked that early? 2003, mind you. Come on, work with me. <laughs> It's very interesting to see how it goes. We have no idea where this team would be. We wouldn't. You give up all those round draft, those first round draft picks, all the stuff to give up 
for a guy who's just okay. You gave up your future, people signing, and just for a guy to put up average 10 points a game. Absolutely foolish. And if that don't get bad, I don't understand how it could get any worse. Here's that quick one, and that's all I got. This is uh, the pain with your boy, Relly P. Take it easy.